Welcome to Whiskey Whistle. I am the host of the show, Mark, and you're watching Whiskey Review number 215. It's Glenn Goyne, baby. Yes, it's Glenn Goyne here on the show. The 12-year-old, Glenn Goyne, 12-year-old. Let's go ahead and get that poured right away. Very excited to have this on the show. That's the first for Whiskey Whistle. Now, I went to a, whis uh, I went to a Glenn Goyne tasting event, oh, about a year ago and uh, thought it was really great and then fast forward to now well uh, just decided that I should I should have a Glen Goyne so there it is now here in Seoul South Korea where I live the Glen Goyne is now run by owned by owned by now imported by Lotte liquor uh, Lotte or Lotte Churyu they've only had it for about a year so they're still getting their feet wet as far as all that's concerned. And price-wise here in Korea, this runs about 85,000, probably up to about 100,000 won, depending on where you buy it. So now Glen Goyne Distillery, this was founded in 1833 in Dum Goyne, which is in the Highlands. And the interesting, interesting thing about Glen Goyne is that the, the warehouses, the Dunnage warehouses, are in the lowlands they're right on the border so they just they have their uh, warehouses right across the street from the uh, the still house uh, very interesting they've got one wash still and two spirit stills which produce 1.1 million liters of alcohol per year so not small not big about the same size as our bag Probably one of the major things that we, we, we should learn about Glen Goyne is that it is absolutely natural in color. So totally natural color, that's great. It's also 43%. So you're getting, uh, boy, about what? 7.5% more uh, than 40%. And when you think about um, a cask strength whiskey being about 60%, then you're actually getting quite a bit more. Uh, you're getting a, a lot more than uh, the 40%, so that's great. There are uh, six factors brand truths Glen Goyne adheres to, and I'd like to tell you about those. The first are that uh, the whiskey is unpeated. We dry our malt by, uh, sorry, we dry our barley by air, never peat. Our rich fruity flavors come from nothing but slow distillation and fine oak casks. Secondly, patience. Our stills are Scotland's slowest. Glen Goyne's bold flavors build ounce by ounce into a smooth complex spirit. What does slow distillation do? Well, it gives it more contact with the copper. That's one thing. Oak casks hand-selected sherry and bourbon casks, the home for all the spirit that will become Glen Goyne 12-year-old. So again, this one is sherry and bourbon. They really pride themselves on their oak, and uh, they don't worry so much about the cost of the oak. They worry about keeping the quality of oak constant so that they can have a constant product. Maturation. Fine casks need space to breathe. We stack them just three high in our cool uh, in the cool darkness of our stone-built warehouses. These are called Dunnage warehouses. Natural color. The light gold of Glen Goyne 12-year-old comes from time and wood alone. Why would we do uh, why would we add anything else? And tradition. We've been learning our trade since 1833. Why change something that took generations to perfect? So those are their six brand truths. And the distillery manager, his name is Robbie Hughes. Great job with this one. All right, well, let's get on to the tasting now. We're going to look at the color. We will also look at the legs of this whiskey. Then we'll get on to the nosing, the tasting, and the finish before getting on to the whiskey whistle, whiskey score for Glen Goyne 12 year old. Let's have a look at the color for Glen Goyne 12 year old. All right, so what do you see? Have a look. 
it's really just a nice standard golden hue, isn't it? Almost into that sort of uh, rich golden color that you get in, say, an Indian gold. Very nice. Uh, so being natural, we can really talk it up and we can really appreciate it and say, boy, that's just great. All right, now let's have a look at the legs also. What do you see there? I see an extremely slow development of legs. They're very slow. They're just trickling down now. And then here comes the secondary drizzle. The secondary legs are starting to come forth. Look at them, very, very slow. Very syrupy. And it's gone now. I've just got this uh, slightly messy glass going on. And again, this tells me that um, we've got probably very minimal chill filtration going on. And when I'm looking at this, I polish these glasses so well and I can see little floaties in there. So that's really interesting. I wish you could see that, but they're in there and they're floating and I love them and I'm going to drink them. All right, let's get into the nosing now. There is some honey. There's also some big sherry. But interesting, interestingly, the sherry kind of is a little bit cloying at first. And the longer you wait, the stronger it gets. And from my tasting notes, I write here, it's got a rich toffee uh, scent. There's also some rum raisin. And it's also got a very light sherry kind of a, a scent as well. Very, very nice. Uh, let's give that a taste now. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Now, it's the palate that really sets this apart from other 12-year-olds. It's got this huge sweetness. And the sherry is really noticeable. There is a candy-like sweetness almost again like that kind of a uh, uh, white candy like not a, not, not a scotch mint or whatever but those chalky types of types of candies of which one is the Popeyes I'm getting a bit of Popeyes again here it's got a very potent flavor there's a hint of spice there some cinnamon some ginger also some nutmeg one more taste and very fruity bit of orange, some berry, red berry fruits. And the finish is especially long for a 12 year old, so that's really great. And I get a dry fruitiness along with a sherry, sherry wine type of a flavor and also some um, uh, baked goods like uh, homemade pastries. All right, now let's add a bit of water here. So I've added about one and a half milliliters, maybe a little bit less, into what looks like about 30, 25 to 30 milliliters of, uh, of whiskey at 43%. So it's probably right down right around 40, maybe 39% at this point. And with water and time, the sherry really, really, really comes out in a big, big way. And I write here, sherry comes out on nose. Okay. Still got the rum raisin there. The sherry, again, it's a little bit on the light side. Okay. Now, how about the palate? Well, let's give that a try. Cheers again. My favorite part. Hmm. There's a sweet fruitiness. There's also a smooth chocolate type of a flavor coming through here. Fresh berries and also candy sour gummy bears. So sour gummy bears. Oof, very nice. And um, 
a little bit odd, but Smarties, the red ones, red Smarties. Mm-hmm. Maybe that was from when I was young when they were using a carcinogenic type of red color. But it had that just interesting taste, didn't it? It was a really powerful flavor that those little red Smarties had when I was young. All right, and the finish. Hmm, I swallow. I get some pepper a bit of ginger. Also this sweet dry candy dessert wine, kind of like a, a Canadian ice wine or a German ice wine. Hmm, very nice. From the minute I opened this, I knew that it was pretty amazing. So I'm really interested in trying the 15 and the 18, the 21, hopefully even older ones at some point. I guess time will tell, right? And one thing you should look at um, before I forget is the cool embossing on the bottle. Can you see that? Really lovely bottle. So that was my whiskey review for Glen Goyne 12 year old. Now I want to give it a whiskey score and then we're going to compare it with another 12 year old that's very famous. So first of all the whiskey was a whiskey score for Glen Goyne 12 year old. We'll have a short word from the YouTube sponsors right here. Welcome back. So the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Glen Goyne 12 year old is going to be 90 out of 100. Yes, that's the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Glen Goyne 12 year old, 90 out of 100. Right, so uh, what do I write here? Value, quality, and loads of taste. Bucketfuls of taste. It's a flavor bomb. You get so much flavor in this bottle, it's unreal. Amazing. Mm-hmm. So that's the Whiskey Whistle score, 90 out of 100. Now, I've already got this poured. And this is, what's this one? This is McAllen 12-year-old from my miniature. I've got a little bit left. Didn't want to go all in. So with McAllen, you get that gummy worm sweetness that's really about it a little bit of peat now that i'm smelling it yeah i don't get that peat content with the glen goin just a hint a little hint of peat here with the uh, uh the 12 year old from mccallan and color wise they're a bit different also mccallan certainly has a richer color Glen going a little bit on the lighter side, but keep in mind these are both natural, so we can really enjoy the fact that they're different. Oh, I love this. This is kind of a an amber shade. Oh, I love this. This is kind of a um, a lemon yellow shade. Beautiful. What about the nosing? Both heavily sherry influenced. A little bit more with the Macallan. A little bit more one-sided, Glen Goyne being a little bit more um, various in its um, uh, fragrance, okay? A little bit more complex. And if I were to say, I think McAllen wins for the nose just because of its strength of scent. This one's light, it's still very nice, maybe just a little bit behind, but where the big difference is, It's again a very one-sided affair with McAllen, but it's very good. And then with the uh, Glen Goyne, so much more going on. There's a pepperiness. There's the the the, uh, the sherry, baked goods, spices. A really good breadth of flavor. And score-wise, I know that I gave McAllen 12-year-old an 87, and I'm giving this a 90. So quite a, quite a step up for Glen Goyne from, for me anyway, from McAllen. Now, there may be other people that might score them differently, give that a higher score than Glen Goyne. Uh, that's, again, individual preference. 
But uh, for me, this is what works. This is also very nice, but if I had to choose one of them to drink on a daily basis, I'd probably choose the Glen Goyne for its character and uh, variety. All right, so that was the review for Glen Goyne 12 year old and a quick comparison with Macallan 12. Now, if you've watched till now, this tells me that you like the channel, you like what you saw, so why not click review, uh, review? Why not click subscribe right here, okay? Click the subscribe button. Have you tried Glen Goyne 12? If so, leave me a comment right down below, okay? And stay tuned for what's to come. There's a whole bunch of things coming up on the channel. In fact, I think none of these have been reviewed yet. I've also got a big pile of miniatures I have to get through and a box of uh, donations from some Whiskey Whistle Whiskey friends. So it's going to be a great winter. Stay tuned and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching Whiskey Whistle. Be sure to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Be sure to stay tuned next time to join me, the host of the show, Mark, as I explore more whiskeys with you. Take care now and we'll see you next time.